Okay, I wanted to talk about the Vuzki D Delay One uh, plugin, which is a free plugin, and uh, it's a bit different. So it's not just a plugin that you you add; you have to add it twice because it's going to allow you to mess up, mess around, <laughs> mess up, mess around with the feedback path of the plugin. So I'm going to open here my mixer on the Sujo one. I'm going to create another bus, another sand bus. So here is my uh, loop. So I add the VUSC delay two times, one with the input selected, you have here the input option, and with the same group, you can have uh, more than one group now with this, this update because it's a uh, new version 1.0.4 and also update the uh, the interface and as well always you can resize the interface to any size you want okay so the first one you add to the bus is going to have the input enabled and then the next one you add is with the input disabled and now these three guys here are going to be shared between group a and add only two per group, one with input, another without input. Don't add more, otherwise you're going to hear uh, some distortion and artifacts. So, okay, let me uh, lower the feedback and add this stereo. So, now I can close it. Now it's running correctly. But the greatest thing now is I can do some changes. So let's say I add a tape emulation here between the two guys. It's going to apply the tape emulation to the effects, input, and feedback. Oops. <laughs> A bit too much. I think I had too much of this guy in here. There's some presets in here I can load to. Remove that, okay. But I can also add an equalizer to happen uh, exciter instead. Oh, so it's going to feedback too much. So let me adjust the feedback because the exciter is going to raise the sound a lot. So panic. Oh yeah, that's nice. And I can adjust a bit the volume. Let's see if I can adjust a bit the... Saturation is good. Yeah, so you get the idea. You can add two groups, two per group. So the first one on the top of the bus you set as input, and the second one you set without the input. So everything that goes between the two guys is going to be the feedback path. You can do some really crazy stuff with, the, with it. Uh, let's say I want to add a filter in there. Uh, where are my filters? Let's see. Let's try this guy here. Uh, are there some presets here? <laughs> That's not very good. 
That's a pen filter. That's not a filter. Okay, that's not very useful. <laughs> I'm just playing around. Let me replace this guy. Yeah, that's a high pass. I want a low pass. Uh, it's going to... <laughs> that's, that's a bit fun to play, but... Uh, it's not much to this, you just have the option to really mess up with the sound in different ways. And it's free, so go ahead and go crazy and let me know if you have any ideas. Okay, that's it for this video.